All right, I'm uh, back. It's been a while. I have been working on various things, kind of jumping around. And right now, I've been working on the joystick uh, push rod combo right there for five days I have worked on this thing it probably should take really no longer than two days maximum uh, if you're proficient and you've done it before I would say even one day but again this is a learning curve for me and, and I was hesitant to do some of the things that needed to get done but the problem is uh, twofold it was binding in the mounts because of several reasons they've got powder coating on here and I think they misdrilled these holes through the fuselage for this particular mounting location I think it's a little bit too low but uh, after working on this thing for five days and the trick was as, as you can see I had to polish sand polish down the off the powder coat right there on both locations where it mounts to the fuselage and uh, let's see anyway it was just the mount these mounts they look the same they're not they're actually different one goes in one location the other goes in the other location they're also orientation has to be just right you can go this way you can rotate it 180 degrees so the guys on the forum, one of the guys nicknamed it uh, doing the control mount hokey pokey, and that's exactly what I had to do. Was I must have, you know, put this thing on, taken it off, figured out how it went on, probably, I don't know, maybe all together 10 times. Um, today I finally got it working because I polished all of the powder coat off. I even polished the inside of the mounts. Uh, some of the anodization that's on here, this red anod anodization polish some of that off inside and now finally it's nice and smooth no binding it was so, binding so badly you couldn't even move the stick I'm not kidding it was really bad so now it's nice and smooth and that's thanks to the help from the guys on the forum and especially Ken he uh, he kind of talked me through this one um, and it's hot and I'm tired and working inside this little small cockpit is a real joy, let me tell you. You gotta, you gotta climb up here, right there, you gotta climb up here, get in there, and it's just tight enough where, as one, as one of the guys said, you'd be well off to hire a trained Kapuchkin monkey because getting in here and getting access to some of these places is just really difficult. So this is the joystick um, and the control tube. That, as you can see, there's a rod end right here connected to a tube. Goes to the back, and I think if you look really hard, you can see there it is. It's moving right there. Mm -hmm. That connects to some other um, control rods that run out to the ailerons. And so when you do this, of course, you're moving the ailerons, which banks the, pump, the airplane. Um, and then go back and forth like that and it's connected to the mixer which connects to the rotor vader push rods which go back to the rotor vaders and that of course controls your pitch so this is like step one uh, in the control system okay said enough oh real quick couple of things I did right there you can see a shiny thing right through the middle of that triangle that's a header tank I put that in uh, the fuel pumps are right there with the wires dangling down I put those in Oh, anyway, so there you go. This is what I've been working on for a long time. More to come.